guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. I asked you guys on my Instagram what videos you guys wanted to watch for my first video and you guys asked me to show you how I edit my pictures, so this is what I'm doing today. Before I get started, I'm going to show you what type of preset I have right now. So if you go to my Instagram, you can see how my first three pictures are different from the others. I'm in Hawaii right now. I needed something more travel, more nature looking, so that's what I have going on. That's what I'm going to show you. Before I tell you what my procedure is, I'm going to tell you the three steps or the three apps I use. Step one, which is Facetune. Step two is Photoshop Express. And step three, it's Lightroom. So before I even start, in, I go to my photo album. I go to my favorites. And in my favorites, I will choose the picture I want to post next. So in this occasion, it will be the last one. It matches my theme perfectly. We're going to open it on Facetune. Once we open it on Facetune, I usually do three different things. One, I use the details tool, I use the smoothing tool, and the whiting tool. So for this picture, I'm going to use it to whiten up my smile, my nails, my toes, and my bracelets. I like when my whites pop on my Instagram, then I usually just go too smooth, but in this occasion, I don't see like in my skin like any blemishes that I have too smooth. Since the picture is overexposed, as you can see, my picture is super white and bright, I'll go to my details. I will detail all my bracelets. Um, sometimes I even detail my hair so one highlight can like pop. So in this occasion, uh, my hair is out. So I'm going to just detail my earrings. Uh, I will detail belly piercing and that will be all. For a tip, please do not overdo facing. Like when you overdo facing, your pictures are going to look super unnatural. So what I usually do is go only once over everything. So if I use the whiting, I just go once over the parts I want to whiten. If it's detail, I just go once it just makes the picture pop instead of making it seem very unnatural and as you can see in my bathing suit there is a watermark what I'm going to do is take the tones tool take the picker pick the color I want to edit so I want to make sure that the lighted green is going to become darker and then I just do the tones and pretty much what I do is color it I don't know any advanced move but this is what works for me it's really easy to do once I color it you can definitely see the watermark so what I do is that I go to the smooth tool and I just smooth that line once it's smooth there is no way that you can see it. After that, I will just save it to my camera roll and then I will move to step two. In my step two, I will open it in Photoshop Express. With Photoshop Express, you are going to be able to see colors pop and make the quality of the picture a little, little better. I already edited this picture many times. I had to redo this video because of technical issues, so bear with me. So first, I will go with details. On details, I will go like to 20. I like to do it just a little bit where it's like the quality is good enough, but at the same time it's just not too much after that i'll go to dehaze the dehaze will make the colors pop make the greens more green and so on so i'm gonna do 55 on this just because my picture is super overexposed so all the colors were really light as you can see the before and after i'll be done with photoshop so i would just save it again and lastly the lightroom that will be my step three in my lightroom i have all my pictures from all my photoshop so before i show you how i edit you can see that i have all albums and i have all my photoshop organized before i go and choose a picture to edit i will know which one i want to focus on so in this occasion i have nature preset so i will just go to a hawaii album and then we're just going to add the pictures we just edit and all the pictures in my lightroom are all raw pictures like no edits no nothing in this picture we're going to put the preset the preset is going to make all the picture fall under the same theme and it was going to make my instagram feed look very nice how much the avocado preset before i do anything i look at the picture and i make sure what's the things i don't like and i would like to fix in this picture, I don't like the greens and what I will do is go to color, go to color mix, I will tap the greens and with the greens, what I do usually, I just play around. I have no formula for it, it's just what I like and depending on the picture, I will just edit it. So in this picture, I will just play around, I want something more dark, more natural. I will do plus 10 in the hue. The saturation, I'm going to put to plus 10 and the luminance, I want green to be like a darker green. So I'm going to do a negative 20, yes, a negative 20. What I usually do with all my pictures no matter what it is it's enhance the oranges I like when my skin color looks tan so what I do is that I just move the saturation to 20 and I move the luminance to 20 as well and this is just going to pop the oranges just a little more and it will make my theme run how I want it as it is that's pretty much what I do with uh, Lightroom and but in this picture I definitely see that my face is way wider than my body so what I will do I will go to the selective I will do the plus and I will do the circle 
circle and on my face so I can just edit that section of the picture. I will go to light and I will put the exposure a little lower. I will move the exposure to negative 70 so it's like darker and it's not too bright. I think for Lightroom either you can get the 30 day free trial or you can just purchase a student discount, get a full like, set of apps that goes under Adobe. But after that, that's all I would do. I would just export the picture and then I would just post it on my Instagram. So I would just add it, I would crop it however I want to crop it and then I would just post it and just grab a caption. I would do like and subscribe. I would just save it, save to drive. Once I want to post it, it's going to be already in my draft and all I gotta do is choose the right type. That will help me like stay organized. Sometimes I edit all my pictures at once and I just save it on the drafts and then I just choose which picture to post. Always type something on the comments because without typing anything on the comments, you cannot save it as a draft. And after that, once I post it, I would usually just go to my story and I would just add the picture that we just post and then I would just do like a little like shout out to my post. I'm going to teach you really quick how to do that. Add the picture to my story and I would set it up to where I want it to be. This picture is going to be the underlay your picture. So that's why I want it on the bottom left of my story. Then I will go to the drawing tool. In the drawing tool, I will choose the highlights. It will help me select one color background. I'm going to base it out of the picture I have right now. So I will choose like a light brown. So once you select the color you want, I will do this one. So I usually choose a popping color so it makes it more engaging. Once you select the color, you tap on the screen and on the background, it will make it that color. And you can see that the picture is still there, but it's just like an underlay. We're going to show the actual picture that we just posted. We will go to the top. I'm going to select the option of adding a picture and I will just add it. And then what you can do to make it like look cooler, I can like write like new post and then I will just write it up like many times, as many times as you can like fit. Do the typewriter and then I will do white. I don't like how it's under because I want like one full line. Make it smaller and like copy and paste it. You can match it up perfectly and then paste it again to like fill that line. Up. We always do that shading to so look like a pattern and then we're just going to match it up there. Like, you just connect them and then you can do the same thing again. You can switch the layout and then you just connect it once again. And this is going to make it look like it's a picture frame, which is going to look super cute if you post it. So after that, you will just finish it up. You will just do the same thing. I will fix it in like where I wanted to put it and I will be done. Like that's how I would do it to tell people I just posted a new picture and that will make my picture a little more engaging. And that's all. Thank you for watching.